Hey guys, so to begin off this St. Pat's Eye Makeup Look, I'm first of all going to be priming my eyes with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. This is to neutralise the eyelids so that they don't have any redness or veins showing through and the eyeshadows will show up a lot more pigmented and true to colour. Next I'm going to take a transition shade, I'm using this light lime greeny kind of shade from the Chi Chi Pride Palette and placing that on with a soft fluffy blending brush from Zueva. I'm going back and forth through the crease and slowly building up the colour. I don't want to go in too quickly with too much product and then struggle to blend it out. It's better to go in with a little bit and then build up from there. Next I'm going to take this like apple green shade from the same palette on a precise shader brush and placing that through the like outer corner slash crease area, making sure to again slowly build up that colour. You want a nice soft gradient and to achieve that you're going to get the best results if you apply a little bit of product at a time. Don't worry if it gets on the lid either, we're just going to be applying like green eyeshadows there anyway. Then I'm going to go back in with some of that transition shade and that soft blending brush and just soften any harsh lines or edges and just really kind of smoke it out a little bit more. Next I'm going to take this forest green shade and mix it again with that previous kind of apple green. Um, colour from the palette and I'm applying that on with a chisel shader brush from Morphe making sure to make it the most pigmented on the lash line area and then slowly fade it up into the crease area. Then I'm going to take some of that apple green shade on a petite crease brush again and just soften any edges. Once you've got the matte shades down it's nice and smoky we're going to take this beautiful absolutely stunning foresty green like shimmery eyeshadow this is the shade epic from makeup geek and i'm packing that all over the lid area from lash line to crease and then i'm going back in with some of those previous green shades and just blending out any lines or like harsh edges or anything like that once it's nice and smoky we're going to take this absolutely stunning like greeny goldy like glittery brow bone highlight shade it's so beautiful with these green tones it really complements them so well and it is a little bit of a loose shadow that's why i find it a little bit more glittery than shimmery so i'm placing that on my brow bone and also dabbing that on the very inner corners next i'm going to go in with this nude eye curl from models prefer and i'm placing that along my waterline just to open up the eyes a little bit more next for the shamrock i'm going to take this gold eyeliner from Napoleon Purtis. I'm um, literally just drawing that on with a kind of like angled brow brush. I kind of switch between different brushes to get this um, shape of the shamrock but all I'm doing is just mapping out that kind of shamrock shape and then I'm going to take this beautiful like foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek in the shade Untamed and apply that over top of the eyeliner to really make it stand out and pop a lot more and I'm going in with a precise shader brush to achieve this it's a little bit more um, easier to maneuver around so I find it's good for details like this. Once you've got your shamrock drawn on I'm going to take some liquid liner and draw some quite extravagant wings on my eyes. I want them to be quite extravagant just because we're going in with really dramatic full lashes. Then I'm going to go in with the same eyeliner. This is the Hyper Sharp liquid liner from Maybelline by the way. And I'm going to lightly trace the outline of that shamrock just so it stands out a little bit more and I'm barely touching that eyeliner tip to my skin I want it to be quite a thin line just outlining that shamrock like so once you've got your shamrock drawn on you can apply your false lashes I went in with these very fluffy dramatic lashes from Attitude and they're actually in the style fluffy they're very full and dramatic and I really find that they add a lot more drama to this look which is what I was going for for the bottom lash line area I'm going to take those two deep green shades from the palette and place them on really tightly against my bottom lash line with a precise shader brush and I'm just making sure to kind of bring a bit more definition there because they can, because using a nude eye curl it does open up the eyes but it also tends to kind of lose that shadow on the bottom lash line area so I'm bringing that back a little bit more with those greens. And I'm going to take this light green shade that we use in our crease and I'm smoking out those deeper greens as well. So it's nice and soft and smoky. Then I'm going to take some of that inner corner and brow bone highlight shade and I'm placing that on the inner corner bottom lash line area. 
just for a bit more pizzazz and sparkle. Then I'm going to take my bottom lash mascara and apply that, and that is the eyes complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this very quick, easy, oh, semi-easy. I mean, the shamrock was a little bit harder, but it's a pretty easy, smoky eye to create for St. Pat's Day. I hope you guys enjoy your night out. Enjoy wearing a bit of green, and I hope to see you in my next tutorial. Thank you for sticking through to the end, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!